Hello, my name's Matt Abbott. I'm a poet and educator from Wakefield, and I'm creating this video for the 18 plus age bracket of the Hear My Voice Poetry Competition 2020. If you're watching this video and you're under 18, that's fine. You can have a go at this poem. It does apply to you, um, but it's targeted at older people. Um, so I'm going to read a poem that I've written specifically for this, which is called Last Time I Saw You. Uh, Last Time I Saw You is a writing prompt that I use quite a lot in my workshops. But obviously with the lockdown situation, it becomes a lot more powerful and a lot more potent. So I'm going to read you my poem and then do a little bit of chatting and hopefully give you some tips to inspire you to go on and write your own entry. Okay. Last time I saw you, your Irish freckles have been tempted by the first weeks of spring. You allowed half a smile, bashful but tender, one hand on the steering wheel, the other squeezing mine. Last time I saw you, we'd not bothered hugging. We said, I love you, with casual indifference. I imagine you wincing as I slammed the boot too hard. Sunset blurring the cityscape as I boarded the train to London. Last time I saw you, I'd been sorting things for my wedding. Picking flowers with the woman you introduced to my fiancé. I told you it'd be a fortnight. We both believed that it would. Two months on, it's texts at best and the world is covered in doubt. Last time I saw you, I never thanked you for the stories, for picking me up on godly hours and indulging all my worries, for the festivals at Benicassim, for Dublin and Derry and Devon, for nights at home with sitcoms and G&Ts and endless laughter. Last time I saw you, the world we knew was different. Covid-19 was a page five story and as 2020 blossomed. But we've been through wars before, Ma, and I know we'll get through them again. Your Irish freckles in full force and a glimmer on the horizon. So the first thing that you might notice is that that poem didn't rhyme. And I do think with a poem like this, it's maybe a little bit uh, gentler and a little bit more reflective. I do think it's a lot more uh, effective if the poem doesn't rhyme. That's nothing against rhyming poetry. A lot of my poetry does rhyme, but I do think it's important when you're dictating the pace to not rhyme because it allows the thoughts to sort of exist without the restriction of trying to rhyme. And it means that, like I say, it can be gentler and a bit slower. Um, and as you've seen just then, I just want you to pick a loved one. It might be a close friend, it might be a colleague, it might be a family member. And really just picture them the last time that you saw them. I know that sounds basic, but the last time I saw my mum, she dropped me off with my fiancé at Westgate Station and we got the train back down to London. I've just pictured that event and it's vivid and it's emotional. And obviously later on in the poem, I've used it to think about the things that I wish I'd said or that I, I certainly will say next time I see her. Um, and yeah, just go from there, use that as a, a starting point. And as you've seen with me, I've repeated the line, last time I saw you. I think that's a powerful way to sort of build up the poem and reinterpret the phrase. And also when you're doing free writes in general, um, whenever your ideas dry up, repeating a title or a prompt line like that is a really, really good way of, of keeping it going. So hopefully you'll find inspiration from that. I hope you enjoy your entry and good luck. Cheers.